let's come to the formal definition of a convex set and we will also give some examples. So um, we have seen that we can imagine a convex set as being shaped like this. You have um, for any two points also the straight line in between them in the set. And in contrast, uh, if the set is shaped like this, then you have a straight line here between two points in the set. But you see everything here is not in the set and therefore um, this set is convex and this set is non-convex. Um, so let's put this in formulas, definition, a set, let's call it C, uh, should be a subset of our usual finite dimensional inner product space is convex if for all x and y in the set C and lambda between 0 and 1. Um, the, point, the, the straight line and the uh, any point on the straight line is given by 1 minus lambda x plus lambda y should also be element of the set C. Why is this straight line? You see if you said lambda equal to 0 then you end up in x. If you said lambda equal to 1 then you end up in y. And this is a linear expression in lambda so uh, this is a straight line. Good. So now we, we see what a convex set is and let's give some examples. And the first example is a ball. So any ball and we denote the ball by BR of A. That's just a notation and I will get in a second to the definition of this. Um, yeah. With BR of A is defined as the set of x in H such that the norm of x minus a is less or equal than a. Okay. You can you can also take the, the open ball where you replace the less or equal with a less sign with a strict inequality. Uh, this will also be convex um, but let's take for now this ball and uh, this ball um, is convex for all A in the space and R, which is the radius of the ball, greater or equal than zero. Okay, let's start with the proof. So uh, we go just with the definition. So we have to take arbitrary points x and y in C. Uh, and C in our case is the, the, the ball BR of A. And we also take lambda between 0 and 1. Okay, what does this mean x and y in BR of A? Um, this means the distance from x to a is less or equal than r and the distance of y and a is less or equal than r. And we have to show that this uh, point here is also contained in the ball. So we have, a, have to look at the distance between um, 1 minus lambda x 
plus lambda y and a. Okay. So we can write this distance as, uh, by splitting up this a term, we can write this distance as 1 minus lambda x minus a plus lambda y minus a. So we have taken uh, minus 1 minus lambda a and minus lambda a and together this is minus a. Uh, this is equality. And now by the triangle inequality, uh, we can estimate this by 1 minus lambda x minus a norm plus norm of lambda y minus a. By the way, norm here, as you see, we only use the triangle inequality. We don't use an inner product, so in, in this case, we are not assuming that the norm here is induced by an inner product. So this holds, in fact, for any norm. Um, also here, we, uh, we have two non-negative num numbers, lambda and 1 minus lambda. They are non-negative because of this. And therefore, we can pull them out of the norm. Let's do this. So 1 minus lambda, norm of x minus a, plus lambda, norm of y minus a. And you see norm of x minus a and norm of y minus a are less or equal than r. Okay, and therefore you get r here. So we have shown that this distance is less or equal than r, and therefore uh, 1 minus lambda x plus lambda y is in the ball with radius a around, with radius r around a. And this concludes the proof. Okay, so uh, this is pretty straightforward because we just have to use the definition and uh, the properties of the norm. Let's uh, come to another example. So I should number this b. And here we have uh, so-called half spaces um, for any vector a in our space, but we assume this to be non-zero. And alpha, uh, and this is a real number. Okay. The half space and we write H A alpha for this. Okay, and this is the set of all points x and h such that um, inner product of a with x is less or equal than alpha. Okay, the half space is convex. Okay, so just for visualization, uh, for example, uh, I think this might be a good idea to see. Usually the ball looks like this, so this could be BR of A. Um, it could also be if you take a, a different norm, then it might look like something like this, uh, as long as this is symmetric. Um, so this is BR of A for a different norm. Okay. And the half space, of course, is the space of... Uh, let's see which side we have. So we have the inner product of the inner product of A and X. So if I want to put the half space here, so H A alpha here. Um, then this is the, the inner product of the points here with uh, the vector A should be less or equal than 
uh, some quantity. So um, the, ve the vector should go in this direction, I guess. Okay. So because you have, um, if if you go far away, then you get the uh, the angle between our a and alpha um, is is getting more uh, larger and larger, and therefore uh, this inner product should be uh, getting smaller and smaller. Okay, and this half space is convex. Let's prove this. So. Again, the definition is sufficient here. Uh, so let x and y be in h a alpha and lambda between 0 and 1. Uh, being in h a alpha means that uh, a x in the product is less or equal than alpha and a y inner product is less or equal than alpha. And we have to look at the inner product of a, let's see if I can correct this, a, yeah, with one minus lambda x plus lambda y. And as you see, this inner product is linear in the second component, so we can write 1 minus lambda ax plus lambda ay. And ax and ay are both less or equal than alpha, so we have 1 minus lambda alpha. Also, we use here that 1 minus lambda is non uh, negative, uh, so yeah, um, because otherwise the, you get problems with the sign here, and the result is alpha. So we have shown that this inner product is less or equal than alpha, and therefore um, one minus lambda x plus lambda y is in H A alpha. Uh, we can write this down. Okay, and this concludes our proof. So now we have two simple examples, and in the next video we, we, we will see how to construct other convex sets from convex sets we already know.